The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Jesus put a parable before the crowds. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in the field. While everybody was asleep, his enemy came and sowed down all among the wheat and made off. When the new wheat sprouted and ripened, the darnel appeared as well. The other servants went to him and said, Sir, was it not good seed that you sowed in your field? If so, where does the darnel come from? Some enemy has done this, he answered. And the servant said, Do you want us to go and weed it out? But he said, No, because when you weed out the darnel, you might pull up the wheat with it. Let them both grow till the harvest. And at harvest time I shall say to the reapers, First collect the darnel and tie it into bundles to be burnt, and then gather the wheat into my barn. Then he put another parable to them. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed which a man took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, but when it has grown, it's the biggest shrub of all and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and shelter in its branches. The Gospel of the Lord. Morning, everybody. Morning. I have a question for you this morning. The kingdom of heaven is like, all the parables start that way. Remember that? Yes, Father. What's that phrase, the kingdom of heaven? What does it mean? Does it mean something in heaven or something on earth? The, hmm? uh, the kingdom of heaven is like the sower that sowed the seed. It's like the sower that sowed and the enemy came and sowed in the darnel. Not too many enemies in heaven. The kingdom of heaven is like the mustard seed that grows into a tree. The kingdom of heaven is like a net cast into the sea that's got good fish and bad fish in heaven. Not too many bad fish in heaven, <laughs> as far as I believe. Uh, the kingdom of heaven is the church. Simple word. It's the church that you and the community of God, of the community of Jesus Christ that you and I belong to. And it's got good people and bad people in it. Amen? Amen. 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 A lot of both. Amen? Amen. 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 And when Jesus is talking about our community, he said our community is like the, the sower that sowed the field and an enemy came and sowed another crop on top of his crop. And then you have the decision to make. What do you do? Like, is our church a bit like that? Is there an enemy that sows another crop where we're trying to sow our crop? Is there an enemy that's trying to destroy marriage? Is there an enemy that's trying to say that evangelical men are the big wife bashers in our country? Are you hearing that on the ABC News this week? Are you not? Yeah. But what do you do about it? Go and thump them and punch them in the mouth? Or what do you do about it? Jesus said, leave it go to the harvest. And I'm telling him all the week, I don't want to leave it go to the harvest. Why should they have a right to be left alone when we've got the right to speak out about what we stand for? You know, Darnell, this crop that grows in the Holy Land that Jesus is talking in the parable, so they're looking at Darnell in the paddock behind them. Remember last week we did all of that? Yes, Father, we remember. All right. Now, Darnell when it's finished growing, is a foot higher than the wheat. It's very easy to go and 
harvest the darnel first without hurting the wheat. You've got a reaping hook and you go out in the paddock and you just take off the top foot, 12 inches, 20 centimetres. I meant to look up how many centimetres was a foot. I still don't know. 30, is it? 30 centimetres. You take off the top 30 centimetres with your reaping hook and you gather it into bundles and you burn it. Then you come back and the wheat's ready for you to harvest. That's my agricultural background. Do you like it? <laughs> yeah, I learned that somewhere. So, and it helps me make sense of this parable. Jesus says to leave them alone. Judgment day will fix it. All the, the parable, Jesus in all the parables is a pacifist. I'm sorry to tell you. Uh, and, uh, you know, and I don't think we all always have to be a pacifist. That's not what I'm saying. But we certainly don't have to be judgmental about other people individually. We're fruit pickers. We're fruit inspectors. By your fruits you should know them. And we are allowed to judge movements. And we are allowed to judge trends. We are allowed to judge movements of people. But we're not allowed to judge people. Or we'll be worse off than them in the long run. Now, so the kingdom of heaven is the church. And you know as well as I do that there are enemies of the church. That they are growing down all in the, is the words of Jesus in this parable. At the end of the parable, he said, they asked him to explain what it meant. He said, the field is the word and the good seed is the subjects of the kingdom and the down all the subjects of the evil one. The enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. The reapers are the angels. Well then, just as the darnel is gathered up and burned in the fire, so will it be at the end of time. The Son of Man will send his angels and they will gather out of his kingdom all things to provoke offences and all who do evil and throw them into the blazing furnace where there will be weeping and grinding and teeth. Then the virtuous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Listen, anyone who has ears. I have another little bit of scripture for, for about the mustard seed I'd like to share with. There seem to be so many younger people studying law and into legal things um, to show them uh, the difference between uh, the law and the moral law. Uh, the kingdom of heaven is like the mustard seed which a man took and sowed in his field. It's the smallest of all the seeds. You know it's not. Ooh. It's not the smallest of all the seeds by any means. You know, one of the smallest seeds in the world is the seed to the sequoia tree, the biggest tree in the world. It's got the tiniest little seed from which it grows. But the mustard seed is the legal standard for smallness in the Jewish law. For example, and it gives rise to the English law, the Roman law, and through that to the English law. This is a lecture in law, all right? The mustard seed, if you cut yourself shaving, if it's bigger than a mustard seed, you have to go through all the ritual purifications of the Jewish law. If it was smaller than a Jewish, than a mustard seed, it didn't matter. Like when you, if you're as old as I am, remember when you used to fast before communion and you couldn't have a drink of water and you'd be cleaning your teeth and you wondered whether you had a little bit of water or whether you didn't and the priest said, don't worry about little things. And that gave rise to the law, that the law doesn't worry about little things. De minimis non curat lux is still in English law. It's the basis of everything we do. So the mustard seed, it's not the smallest of all the seeds. That's true. But practically it is because it's the judge of what is small and what is not small in law. In law. That interesting? No. Maybe if you're doing third-year law it is. But, uh, but, but again, it's to draw out something from the parables 
that is, that, is, that is important in the teaching of Jesus. You don't go through the detail of the parish of the parable looking for what the, what the... You know, it's the smallest of all the seeds. That's not the important part of that parable. The important part of that parable is that great things, big things, start from a very small beginning. I might add including you and me. And those things get greater. And the kingdom of God is like that. The church is like that. Kingdom of God equals church. Yes, Father? Yeah, kingdom of God equals church. The kingdom of God is like that because it's got a very small beginning. But it can grow like the mustard seed into a tree where the birds of the earth can come and live in the branches. Amen? More yet next week.